Hi, my name is Elizabeth Gormley and I'm an attorney over at the Lubovic Law Group. I help individuals apply for Social Security Disability Benefits as well as Veterans Affairs Benefits. I wanted to talk to you today a little bit about heart disease. As many of you know, February is Heart Disease Awareness Month. That means that this month is dedicated to raising awareness about heart disease as well as increasing knowledge about prevention tactics. In the United States, heart disease is one of the leading causes of death. If you have a severe heart condition that's preventing you from working full-time, you should consider applying for Social Security Disability Benefits. Some of the most severe heart conditions that prevent you from working may automatically qualify you for Social Security Disability Benefits under the Blue Book listings. And these listings are medical conditions which Social Security has found are so severe that they automatically qualify you for disability. The listings for cardiac conditions are found under Section 4 of the Blue Book listings and can be found on Social Security's website. The requirements for these listings are often very complex and technical, and they require a significant amount of medical records to support the diagnosis. You should consult with your disability attorney and your cardiologist to see if you may meet or equal one of these listings. Some of the more common listings include congestive heart failure, coronary artery disease, heart arrhythmias, if you've had a heart transplant, or even if you have an aneurysm. If Social Security determines that you don't meet or equal a listing, that does not mean that you still don't have a disability case. It just means that now we need to look at what your residual functional capacity is. And your residual functional capacity is determined by looking at what's the most that you can do in spite of your functional limitations. So that means, in spite of you having a severe heart condition, what is the most physical activity that you can do? It's more common for Social Security to find somebody disabled based upon their residual functional capacity than it is finding them disabled based upon a listing. And the reason is, is that the listings, they're very difficult um, to, to meet or equal because you need to have a significant amount of medical records to meet that. Um, you know, the RFC, what they do in that sense is they look at all of your symptoms, they look at all of your medical records, if you have any opinions from your doctors, they'll take that into consideration, and they'll also take into consideration your testimony, whether it's through the questionnaires that they've sent you and had you fill out, or if it's your testimony at your hearing. The most important thing to remember is to obtain the necessary medical treatment if you have a severe heart condition. Don't put it off. If you don't have medical insurance, give us a call. We'll help you figure out how to get the necessary medical treatment, whether it's through applying for Medicaid or getting in through a free clinic. As I said in the beginning, heart disease is the number one leading cause of death in the United States and it should not be taken lightly. So if you have a severe heart condition and you need medical treatment, give us a call. We'll help you find some of those options for you. Also, if you're not working full time and you have a severe heart condition, give us a call. We'll help you apply for disability benefits. No matter what stage in the process you are, whether you want to start a claim or you already have one going and you're at the hearing level or whatever, give us a call and we'll talk to you about what your options are.